Okay, so one of the most important events that happened here in Brunswick, North Carolina, was when the Spanish invaded. So one of the biggest threats to the English colonies was the Spanish. They have South America, they have Florida, and uh, they had a pretty big rivalry with the English. Actually, the first settlement in the interior of what's now the United States was by the Spanish. They built six forts through North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. They didn't last very long. They were attacked by the Indians, but that was almost 20 years before uh, Roanoke, which was the first English settlement in the New World. You know, a couple hundred years later, the Spanish are still a big presence. Um, and there's, there was a few wars between Spain and England in the 1700s. Um, most of the 1740s, Spain was fighting England, and that had effects here in the New World. And so in 1741, there was a group of Spanish privateers operating off of the North Carolina coast. They landed on Ocracoke Island, established a camp there, uh, were burning houses, killing cattle. There were no British troops around to stop them. So North Carolinians got together, merchants uh, and wealthier people, and they bought a ship with a level of marquee that allows them to attack the Spanish legally. So they sail down, um, and when they reach the Spanish camp, the Spanish abandon it and flee without a fight. But seven years later, it's a bit different, because then uh, there's a war with Spain again, and two Spanish ships arrive off the coast. Privateers, there's about 160 Spaniards. So they hoist up the English colors and sail up the Cape Fear River. With the English flag flying, they're able to actually get a pilot on board. They're able to make it past a fortification that's there at the mouth of the river. And so they land 60 men just south of Brunswick. This town here, they land 60 men. And this town, which at the time was very prosperous, selling pitch, uh, turpentine, lumber. Um, suddenly there's foreigners running down the streets, armed and ready to fight. So the townspeople flee. Um, the uh, Spanish then began to raid the homes of anything of value, rounding up any slaves they could find to take as prizes. So messengers go to round up the militia. They gather uh, about 67 men over a couple days. One of the problems is that the people in Brunswick, it was such a sudden attack that they flood without even getting their weapons. But they're able to gather 67 men with weapons. About a third of them were black. Um, some of those were slaves, some of them may have been free, um, and these men were under William Moore and William Dry III, who's the port collector from Brunswick. So they come with their pistols, muskets, gunpowder, powder horns, and a small cannon, and they march up to the town secretly to observe the Spaniards. They saw the privateers are packing up stores to load them onto their ship. So they begin and open fire on them, surprising them. Several Spaniards fall at the first shot. Um, they're surprised, confused, as suddenly in this town that they've been occupying for three days, they're under attack. So the, the militia fire a volley at them, reload, fire again. The Spaniards, some of them tried to fire back, but mostly they're focused on getting to their ship that is in the river. So they rout and uh, the militia go to scatter, try to find the Spaniards that are running and fleeing. And some of them apparently are firing at the ship because as all this chaos is unfolding, the ship, which was called La Fortuna, explodes. Most on board seem to have been killed from the explosion. The militia sent boats uh, to rescue the survivors, so they had trouble stopping some of the, uh, the slaves from killing the people in the water. And that is about the end of this Spanish invasion. Um, of the 260 Spaniards, about 140 were killed, mostly in the explosion. Also 30 Spanish prisoners and 12 slaves were captured. One North Carolinian died in the attack. He was a slave who was fighting and he was killed when the cannon they had exploded. And two more were wounded. So the militia searched the ship, the wreck of the ship, for valuables they sell those goods to help pay for St. Philip's here in Brunswick, as well as St. James's Church in Wilmington. So it's, it's, it's pretty interesting. Just a few years later, after the Spanish were trying to invade North Carolina, Spain actually 
is in the Revolutionary War on the side of the United States. Because to try to lower the power of England, they join with the colonies. So the rivalry between Spain and England, they meant the Brunswick got invaded. Just a few decades later, they, that helped establish American independence. Another thing we can see here is the context of the Second Amendment. This is what the founders were envisioning. When the Spanish invade, you don't wait for troops to be sent from who knows where. The militia comes up and gathers to repel the invasion. Now it works here because it was a really small force that was invading. But it is an example uh, of what they were talking about when they were talking about the right of the people uh, to keep arms. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with your friends. You can also visit www.discerninghistory.com for more videos and other resources.